We're here at the Danone Conventional Center and we're at the Muscle Cars and Corvette Nationals. Please enjoy the next video. And I babysitted this car in a barn. And when the owners decided to sell Paxton Supercharger, as it was called then, on their high performance 63 and 64 cars. So his grandson opened up the garage door and rolled it up. And that was the first visual sight I got to see of the Studebaker. It's a 1967 Mustang Fastback, candy brandywine color. It's uh, all original. Um, original motor, original tranny, original rear end. It's a drive daily driver. We drive it all the time. Wow, they did an amazing job here. So it's a 502 Ramjet engine, 502 horsepower, a dyno out at. Uh, do you drive one of these cars? They let you drive. That's our car right there. <laughs> and yes, we do get to drive them. Welcome to U.S. Classic Muscle Cars. Today we are at the Muscle Car and Corvette Nationals. And today I'm here with Steve. Hello, yes, Steve. Hi, how are you? I'm oh, doing pretty good. good. Thank you. Now, I see you have a very beautiful car back here. Can you tell me a little bit about sure. it? Sure. This is a 56 Bel Air. It's a post 210. Um, purchased this at Barrett Jackson in Scottsdale in January of 2016. Uh, fresh build. Builder out of Kansas built this. Um, about an 18 month build he said it took ground up restoration so every nut and bolt the whole car it was just the frame the sheet metal everything's been reworked and it's brand new car now the paint is just beautiful on this car what color of paint is it this is the ppg paint it's electric blue clear coat um and then ppg black so yeah base coat and then just ppg paint it looks wet all the time if they did an awesome job painting it they did now what kind of wax do you use for this part? um you know what we use a uh, dft detailer wax on it or i'll use um griot's garage depends on what i kind of have or where i'm at at the time where the car's at um now the grill is just they did an amazing job on the grill it's so uh really nice the yep. chrome everything Yep, a lot of chrome, a lot of detail, total custom billet work, so one off, total custom on the front end of the car. Just They just did an amazing job Thank right you. there. Thanks. And also with the back of the car, yes, right? Yes, yes, same thing there. Uh, they tubbed it a little bit, made it a little bit wider to get that look. The stance, you could tell, sits up a little bit higher. The wheels in the back are a little bit larger diameter than the front one, so it, the stance of the car is a perfect stance. Tell me a little bit about the rims and the wheels. Uh, these are Foos one-off rims, so these are NUC, so they're one-off. So Foos designed these wheels just for this car, and then low-profile BF Goodrich tires on it. Show me the interior of sure. the car. Sure, absolutely. Again, all custom interior, the black leather, uh, column automatic, four-speed automatic, mono steering racing wheel from Italy, custom dash, vintage air, uh, custom sound system, just yeah, everything's custom. Did they keep anything from the original? No, not in the inside at all. No, just the bodywork, just the sheet metal, really. Everything else was totally reworked and custom. How is the car to drive? It's awesome. Um, it sits on an Art Morrison chassis, and it, it's like on a dart. This car is, the drivability of this car with the Art Morrison chassis is really, really good. Now, can you show me the engine of the car? Sure, absolutely. Let me Wow, they did an amazing job here. So it's a 502 Ramjet engine, 502 horsepower, a dyno out at. Um, yeah, redid the whole inside, same paint, the PPG electric blue. Um, again, vintage air, power steering, power brakes, wheeled wood brakes, so awesome drivability. It's a good, it's a driver car. It's a great driver car. It's a show car, but a great driving car. I see they also did this very Yep, nice. yep, yep. 
they took care of the under hood instead of having it bare they coated it very clean sleek look for the car to finish off the car has this car uh have you taken it to any other events yeah this car's been to a couple shows more local shows um I'm, we live in the south suburbs of Chicago, so we've taken it to some local shows. Yeah, and it's won uh, best award for each show it's been to so far. So nice. it did really well this morning. It got judged this morning here at McCacken, and it, I think it got like a 996 out of a thousand points. So it did really good here too. So tomorrow should be an award for this car. That's nice. Well, congratulations. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Now, uh, would you be able to show us your truck? Sure, absolutely. It looks all custom done, like yes. the interior. Yep, they totally made the inside of the trunk look like the interior to match it. Lighting, obviously, for a fact. Audio, just cleaned it up, made it look pretty, I guess. Battery compartments under here, so it's easy to get to. So we trickle charge it when it's in storage, when it's in the warehouse. So, yeah, very easy, simple to use. Now one question, where is the gas tank? Actually, on a 56 Bel Air, which is cool, the gas tank is actually behind this housing of this light. So this little ledge, I guess I would call it right here, you twist it and it comes down and you fill up the gas. Nice. Yes, very cool. Now the most important question, can I get the keys? Yes, yeah, right, exactly. <laughs> you can sit in it. You can sit in it. I can sit in it, at least I tried. Yeah. You can pretend, right? <laughs> At least I tried. <laughs> well, it sits very well. <laughs> it's very nice and comfortable. Does that suit your transportation needs? <laughs> yes. And then the, uh, let's look at the dash. Say, uh, thanks for watching. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to share and like our videos.